Hello everyone, in this video we're going to build the Zoomy together. In total there are 17 steps and the first thing we should do is go over all the tools we need for the Zoomy. So let's get started. To build the Zoomy, we're going to need the hardware and electrical components, which include the Zoomy board, Raspberry Pi Zero, OLED screen, battery, Velcro, Pi Cam ribbon cable, mounting bracket, chassis, two of the motors, two of the wheels, Pi camera, jumper wire, micro SD card, and Zoomy shell. For the fasteners, we're going to need three long plug standoffs, six motor screws, two long socket standoffs, ten thick silver screws, two short plug standoffs, six thin silver screws, two short socket standoffs, and eight mounting screws. Lastly, for the tools, we're going to need a screwdriver and a micro USB cable. And all of these should be included with the Zoomy. The first step to building our Zoomy is going to be attaching the motors. We're going to need two motors, one chassis, and four motor screws. We're going to go ahead and grab four screws from the bag and please make sure that they are motor screws. We're going to look at the chassis and make sure that everything is on top. The whole board should be at the bottom. We're going to attach the motor there. And we're going to get one of the screws so that we can attach the chassis to the motor. So go ahead and screw this in. We're going to go get the other screw and screw that in as well. Okay, and we are done with the first motor. Now we're going to attach the second motor. Make sure that the orientation is correct on both sides. We don't want wonky wheels. We want to make sure that the wheels are straight. Go ahead and screw in this screw. And last but not least, we'll take this last screw and put it on there. And there you go, that should be the motors. For step two, we are going to add the standoffs to the chassis, and we're going to need these tools right here. The three long socket standoffs and the three thick silver screws. So when we get one of the sockets and one of the screws out, we're going to attach this to the chassis. So go ahead and put the screw underneath the chassis, and then make sure the motor is still on top, and we're going to put the socket right over on top and screw that in. Just like so. There we go. And then for the other socket and screw, we're going to attach that to the other side where the other motor is, right on top. Let's go ahead and screw that. And you want to make sure that these are on the edge of the chassis. Now for the last screw and socket, we're going to put it towards the middle, but we want it on the first one, at the bottom right there. So we put the screw in there and we go ahead and attach the socket right on top. And there we go. We're done with step two. Now for the third step we're going to attach the velcro and the battery. So let's take these tools out and here's the velcro and here's the battery. So first we're going to get the velcro. We're going to split that apart and don't worry about it, the velcros are the same on both sides, so it doesn't matter which part you put first. So we'll put this right on top of the motors. Remember to take away the sticky residue so that you can stick it onto the motors. And with the other velcro, you're going to attach it to the battery on the yellow side. And place that right on top of the other velcro. And you just want to make sure that the battery wire is facing towards the back, just like the, how the motors are. And there we go, we are done with step 3. Now to step 4, we're going to put the chassis away for a bit. And we're going to go ahead and get the Zoomy board. And you'll notice the Zoomy board with it saying Zoomy on it and the color red on it. 
So we're going to need these two tools here. We're going to need the two thin silver screws and two short plug standoffs. So let's go ahead and look at the orientation of the Zumi board. We want to make sure we can identify the holes that we need to put the screws in, which are those two right there and there. So we'll go ahead and get the screw and we're going to put it right there next to the sensors, the really long black sensors there. We want to make sure the screw is next to it. Then we put the plug stand off right on top and screw that in. We'll go ahead and do the remaining screw, put that over there to the side and the plug stand off right there. And there we go. And please make sure you have the correct orientation. These two screws are there, the two plug standoffs right on top. And they're going to be on the sides. Now for step five, we are going to connect only the motor wires. So go ahead and remove these tools. And we're gonna go ahead and get the chassis back. Now, looking at the orientation, you wanna make sure that the battery wire isn't included in the step. We just wanna focus on the motor wires. So with this motor, we're going to connect to that area on the board and to the other one as well. So if we go and look at this, this is how they should be connected. Now for step six, we're going to flip the zoomy board on top of the chassis. So please do this carefully and you want to make sure that the sensors are aligned with the empty holes underneath the chassis and also make sure these are aligned as well. Now we're on to step 7 where we're going to add the standoffs to the zoomy board. So we're going to need these two right here and we're going to attach it to the zoomy board. So go ahead and attach it right on top. It's going to be on the sides and do not worry I'm going to show the whole orientation so you know exactly where these standoffs go. So with those tightened I'm going to go ahead, here's the top view, here's the side view, the back view. And uh, we're going to take a closer look at it. Now for step 8, we're going to attach the mounting bracket. So we're going to need the thick silver screw, just one of them, and the mounting bracket. So we'll go ahead and take the screw out. So what helped me was putting the mounting bracket and the screw together first, and then putting it onto the zoomy board. Now we're just going to screw this in at the proper place and make sure that the mounting bracket is covering the zoomy board and underneath it as well. It shouldn't be overhead. And with that screwed in, that's how it should look like. And we're going to go ahead and zoom in just so that you can see the orientation. Now for step 9, we're going to insert the ribbon cable into the Pi camera latch. So we're going to put these tools away for now and your ribbon cable should look like this and your Pi camera should be looking like that as well. So it's going to be those two. Now with the Pi camera latch we're going to check the orientation and we're going to open it by sliding this out like so. And with the ribbon cable, we're going to check the orientation of that. We want to make sure the black wide side is being inserted, like so. And then we want to lock the latch so that it doesn't fall apart. And there we go, those are combined. Now with those two combined, we're going to get the zoomy back here. And we're going to proceed to step 10, which is attaching the Pi camera to the mounting bracket. So we're going to need the mounting screws for this. And we're going to need two of them. So we'll go ahead and get the Pi camera. We'll look at the orientation of the Zoomy and the Pi camera. And we're going to place this on the mounting bracket. And we're going to align the two holes with the other two holes of the Pi camera. And make sure that the orientation is correct. The Pi camera is attached to the lower two holes of the mounting bracket, so please make sure of that. So with that screw on, 
we're going to go ahead and put in the other screw. Okay, with the screw placed, we're going to go ahead and screw this in. There we go. The Pi camera is now attached to the mounting bracket with the two screws. Now moving on to step 11, we're going to connect the Pi camera to the Pi Zero and attach it to the Zoomy board. So this is the Pi Zero that came with your kit. And we're going to go look around it and we're going to look for the latch. So we're going to open up the latch like so. And it's going to be reminiscent of step 9 just the same way we did it with the ribbon cable. So now we're going to get the ribbon cable and we're going to get the dark side and we're going to enter that into the Pi Zero. And we're going to go ahead and lock the latch like so. And then we're going to fold the ribbon cable correctly and we're going to align it, the holes right there. And we'll go ahead and get the Pi Zero attached to the zoomy board now with the prongs. Make sure that the prongs are facing downward and that it's connecting to the black part of the zoomy board. And with that, there it is. Now for step 12, we're going to add the remaining standoffs to the zoomy. So we'll go ahead and get the short socket standoffs. There should be two of them. And we're going to attach this right here onto the Pi Zero. And there should be screws already protruding, and this is where we should be putting the standoffs. And there we go. Now for step 13, we're going to insert the jumper wire into the OLED screen, and then mount it into the bracket. So with our tools here, we're going to go ahead and take away the styrofoam from the OLED screen, and Combine that with the jumper wire. Pay attention to the colors of this. So once we combine it, we should have it all the way in. There we go. Be careful with the prongs of the OLED screen. And then we're going to go ahead and get the mounting screws. We're going to place them onto the OLED screen. And if you remember with the mounting bracket, we still have the leftover two holes on top. This is where we're going to place the OLED screen. So we're going to go ahead and screw in our first mounting screw. Alright, with that in, we're going to align the second hole and we're going to put in our last mounting screw. like so we got to make sure it's tight and it looks good and there we go that is step 13 now with step 14 we're going to plug the jumper wire into the four pin socket of the zoomy board so looking at the zoomy we're going to identify where the socket is and it's right over there and we're going to go ahead and plug in the jumper cable into this area and afterwards I'm going to show you a closer look of how it's going to look like. Just make sure that you pay attention to the colors so that your zoomy works properly. Moving on to step 15, we're going to plug the battery wire into the zoomy board. And take note that we want to identify where the port is and make sure that the switch is on the off position. This is going to be pretty hard to do. It took me a couple of tries, but you want to just make sure that you get that plug in securely onto the back. Alright, now it is plugged in and we have made sure that the power switch is off and it looks good to go. 
Step 16, we're going to attach the shell onto the Zoomy. So we're going to get the Zoomy shell, of course. It's going to look really cute. And we're going to go ahead and get the thin silver screws and the thick silver screws. And we're just going to need two screws from each bag. So we're going to inspect the Zoomy shell and the back should open up like that. And we're going to place this onto the Zoomy. So we'll mount it as so, and we'll click the back right there. There we go. And now it's on securely. And we want to make sure that the holes align with the shell. We want to make sure that we don't have it backwards. So we'll go ahead and get the thin silver screws and place it towards the front of the Zoomy, where the LED screen is. And we'll go ahead and screw those on. Now we'll get the thick silver screws and screw them in towards the back. Great! Now the Zoomy looks almost finished. There is only one last step. Now for step 17, which is our last step, we're going to add the wheels. So for this, we're going to need two wheels and two motor screws. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and look at where we need to put the wheels and they're going to be attached to the motors. So if we look at the wheel, we want to make sure that we're putting the rigid part onto the Zoomy. And then once you place it in, go ahead and put in the motor screw. Alright, and now go ahead and flip the zoomy and go ahead and put in the last remaining wheel and screw. And with that, your Zoomy is completed. If you want to test run it, there's going to be a switch at the back to turn on the Zoomy. And have fun with your Zoomy.